to the water. Uh-oh. Pause. Welcome to the latrine. <laughs> One of my favorite places, oddly enough, as it may seem, the bathroom is one of my favorite places. So a little bit of backstory. When I was younger, I had to clean the bathroom because that's what the girl's chore was, right? And then I went to the military, I went to the Air Force, and I was a latrine queen. Out of nowhere, it was just like, that's your job. You make sure the bathroom is clean at all times. So me being the person that I am, um, took it with honor. Uh, we made sure that it was clean all the time. I learned all kinds of tips and tricks and all things, some things the hard way. <laughs> and um, we won honor flight. So it was something that I took pride in. And the bathroom is always something that I like to keep tidy and clean and, you know, make sure that it does what it's supposed to do, aside from all the gross stuff that happens in the bathroom. So I wanted to share some things that I prefer in my bathroom and that I have, you know, picked up across the years, um, things that make my life a little bit more luxurious <laughs> than um, it could not be um, for very little. Um, it's just a matter of knowing and not knowing. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy all the cool things I have in my bathroom. And let me know what you have in your bathroom that makes you just feel. Yeah. So first things first, um, brushing my teeth. Honestly, so again, some more backstory on my teeth. I'm very anal about my teeth. I have gone through braces. I have um, refilled all of my teeth with the white filling instead of the silver. So all of my teeth have fillings for the most part. <laughs> um, I don't have veneers or any type of caps. Um, I have a couple crowns in the back, in the, well, one crown really, in the back on a molar. Um, but my teeth are something that I like to take care of. I wear my retainers. I make sure that I am doing what I'm supposed to do to, you know, make sure that my teeth stay straight. Um, that was the insecurity that I had as a kid. I had some really crooked bottom teeth and I didn't like it. <laughs> so when I got to be old enough, my benefits were good enough. I was able to, um, get braces. I did. So. From there, one um, tool that I really like and that I carried on into non-braces life, like regular teeth life, was Sensodyne toothpaste <laughs> because um, braces I felt like made my teeth way more sensitive than they were before. And um, just because of so much dental work that I've had, uh, I prefer to use Sensodyne. It helps with a lot of the um, sensations and the cooling and the heating that comes along with some of the dental work that you have. So since I have toothpaste, um, I get it from Costco, like the two pack or whatever. And um, that's my favorite <laughs> toothpaste that I use. But one thing I really wanted to point out was the water pick. So my dentist, I'm gonna show you guys this. <laughs> my dentist told me to get one of these and you fill it up with water you know, fill it up. I like to use, um, I use the blue water, like um, delivery. It's, you know, distilled here in North Carolina, all the good things. Um, but we have a turtle. So instead of having to um, manipulate our tap water, we just use the, the little blue water for the turtle. And I prefer that as drinking water. I mean, cause it's good drinking water, obviously. But I also use it in the pick. So you can, or you can put like bottled water in here. Um, and then it has different settings. It has different picks. Um, I use this one. Let's see. And um, it just kind of shoots water in between your teeth as if floss would, you know, like clean in between your teeth. I still floss because I think that um, I'm kind of old school and flossing is still the way to go. But when I want like a really fresh feeling, especially, especially for my gums, I use the water pick. Moving on to the commode. 
So a lot of things happen on your toilet. And um, as women, um, there's a lot of things that you kind of go through <laughs> in the bathroom. And I have found some things that make life a little bit easier when you are taking care of yourself, um, you know, intimately or in your, you know, reproductive area, making sure that you can be as clean and refreshed as you want to be. So here are some things that I use and again have used along the way oh, let's see so first things first is this this is a squat potty it fits around the base of your toilet and you prop your feet up on it when you use the bathroom like number two and it puts you in a better position to fully eliminate i i went to a a pelvic floor therapist I was referred by my OBGYN and um, one thing that she, um, she, the pelvic floor therapist, um, you know, suggested was a squatty potty. So ever since I've been using it, like it pulls your knees up, like you're, I mean, it's not this high, this is maybe exaggerated, but it pulls your feet up off the floor, you know, depending, especially, you know, how tall you are, how tall your toilet is, brings your feet up off the floor so that way you're in a more of a squat position to eliminate um all of your waste like your body is designed to do um again because of heights of toilets and you know personal body heights it can be difficult or once you get a certain age your body isn't kind of set up like it used to be so you need a little bit more help a little bit more guidance like some bumper rails right so the squatty potty allows you to um, put yourself in a, a more natural position. So squatty potty, I'm going to make sure. Again, everything that I'm talking about today will be linked in the comments or in the description. I always call it comments, but in the description right here below this video. Next on the list is the bidet. The bidet is attached to the toilet. I'm going to show you here. I told it should be pretty clean. I'm just going to show you that. Let's see. There you go. See the little switch right there? Yeah, you see it. Right there. Not my mouth. Right there. You see it? Right there. Boom. Okay, good. Right? So, that is the bidet. Next is one of my favorite things. Uh, I actually got it for my boyfriend. He kind of complains about it being cold in the bathroom. He gets out of the shower. Um, the the new house, it seems kind of drafty. So um, I can see what he's saying, you know, and sometimes I leave the door open. He's like, you love the door open. But I wanted to find something that would kind of keep it warm. So we got a towel warmer bucket. Um, it's I don't want to say it's heavy. It's not heavy. But I want you guys to see like the perspective of the size that it is. And that's what it looks like. And it has just like an easy topping lid like a rice cooker would have or something like that. And like a towel bucket there. So we're able to put um, pretty decent sized towels in there. Bath sheets go in there. Um, you really have to kind of maneuver them in there to get full use of it. But this towel bucket makes all the difference on those cold days. And your towel's all warm. And I found out he was putting his pajamas in there. And I'm like, bro, that is so genius. Like, how you using it better than me? Like, how you bougier than me? You got your pajamas in here? Anyway, that's another story. Okay, so I had to take y'all off the tripod for this part. I wanted y'all to see the next thing really up close. All right, so we have really, really crappy hard water. And this is a water filter here. This filter is the water that comes Oops. Sheesh. Out of the shower head. And the shower head is also something we replaced. Um, and it has the detachable option and the different settings on both. And then um, that's really it for the shower.
And this next thing I wanted to show you guys is this tray. It's a bamboo tray. It has an option for a stemmed wine glass that fits right in there. It just slides into the sides of your tub and then holds your iPad or book or whatever you want while you're in the okay, So the next thing we have, it doesn't really belong in the bathroom, but we have it in the loft right outside of our room, is a mini fridge, like a little bitty baby fridge. And we, <laughs> we, I mean, we just have like water in it. See, just water. Um, This, I think I got it for like makeup or something, but we end up using it as a mini fridge. <laughs> so this was something that I thought was really handy to put at the top of the stairs, like I said, right outside of our room, um, into in the loft. So, I mean, I know it's not part of our bathroom, but it was something that we felt was like self-care or, you know, things in our bedroom area that um, would be very helpful. Last but not least was the HIPAA filter. Um, I'm not going to show it to you. I'm going to just put the link in the comments, but... I got COVID right after I come back from New Orleans last summer. So oh, when I was on quarantine, I ordered a filter, but I put it around the house every now and then. And sometimes I'll leave it in the stairwell because um, like food smells, if we fry foods or if we cook something that's heavily seasoned, we be cooking curry chicken, jerk chicken. And it has like a very, you know, heavy smell afterwards or like fried fish we fry tons of fish or whatever you know we be cooking so i um put that and plug that up um just in various spots around the house just to make sure it's like the air is clean and clear um, we all go out and about covid is still real so we want to make sure that we are safe and sound here at home so we use the purifier here at the house, um, change out the filters every now and then, I guess, like we're supposed to. And um, that's it. I think that it's it. We have a clock radio in here. I don't know if that makes a difference to anybody. Some scrubby tools, a dry brush, um, a massaging something that you can use to kind of stimulate your lymphatic system while you're in the shower. Um, that's always good for you. So um take care of yourselves in the bathroom even if it is getting like a pack of bathroom wipes or a bidet like i said everything in here is linked it's all affordable these aren't things that are out of reach these are you know nice simple things that you can use i can use i love using them um for care my kids love them the boys my little one is always like well when i put the bidet in here he's like so where's ours at because we used to have one at the apartment he was like so where's we didn't get one in the bathroom and then we use the bathroom downstairs more i feel like than the bathroom upstairs so it could definitely get a bidet as well so i'll probably put one down there too um but from there i think that's it i think that's all the cool things we have in our bathroom so far um if anything changes i'll be sure to update you guys um make sure you like subscribe all the things that happen in a youtube video and i will talk to you guys later